What's up guys, we're out here in the stick marsh today. I haven't been here in quite some time. It's been actually a couple of years probably since I've been out here. I caught one so far that's not on camera, a little 16 inch or something like that. So far, just that one fish and yeah, kind of checking this lake out. Maybe a little different, I'm not too sure. I haven't really got to where I'm used to, which is way that way, but we're gonna try to get down there. I think we should. And it's looking like clear skies till around 12, 1 o'clock. It might push back a little bit further. So we might get lucky. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But throwing the speed worm right now. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just get going. All right. There's one. There's a little shell bar out here. I figured they might be out here. Sorry, sorry. Stop. Lively things. Little guy. But he's chunky though. Eating healthy. Goodbye. I can feel the shells on the bottom, so I'm just dragging the speed worm. Kind of be hard to believe there's only one around here though. Oh, I got a bite. Barely nibbled at it. But I had a bite though. I don't know what it was. We'll see if he'll bite again. Oh, there we go. God dang it. I waited way too long. Oh. Golly. I'm getting bit, but they're really small, I think. Might be bluegill. I don't know if the water is high or they came in here with the crane or something and just dug all the sticks out of here because back in like 2017 there was sticks all over the place over here you, there, you couldn't get anywhere without hitting at least one you know now i don't I hardly see anything so i don't know if it's the water's high or they took them out i don't know it's because i can't even feel them i don't see them the only ones i see is like little ones up at the towards the bank but right out here there used to be all kinds of sticks and stumps and all kinds of stuff and it used to be hydrilla but i knew that the hydrilla disappeared a while back but i thought the sticks would at least be still here you know but i don't see anything i don't know what is going on and i know with the the grass they sprayed it they got rid of all that which was like the best thing that this place ever had it was a, a line of hydrilla down this down this stretch and the fishing was insane. If you look back in like my early, early videos, when I had a, the bass tracker, you just catch like a five, six pounder back to back, just nonstop. Oh. Swimming the worm. The mud. The mud fish. Are you serious right now? A mud fish, really? Just my luck, huh? First I have to catch you in Kissimmee, now I gotta catch you here. Chill, dude. Chill. I'm gonna get it out of here. I'm gonna call all the gators out here. We chill out? I understand why you're going crazy. It's in your eye. Chase, all right, let's see if we can catch another one, I guess. <laughs> I'm not catching bass, may as well catch mudfish, right? I don't know how much longer I can stay out here for. 10 o'clock, rains are supposed to come in around 12, one o'clock. There, looks like they're starting to pile in. Give it another hour or two and see what happens, but it's not looking so good. I was gonna go to Felsmere today, but I didn't feel like dealing with all the boat traffic and all that jazz. If my boat was lighter, if my kayak was lighter, I would use the kayak launch. I am not using the kayak launch with this. No way. Ah. All right, we're going back to where I did catch a fish <laughs> and had some other bites. So it's about another hour that way. <laughs> and it's back towards the ramp too. So if the rain comes in, I'm closer to the ramp. Look at the rain clouds coming in. Oh yeah. You can see that one there. There's another one coming this way. I don't know if I should stay any longer. Oh yeah, we gotta get going. That's thunder. Oh boy. I hope I can make it through this thing. I knew there, see it's 11:21. I knew that, that stuff was gonna come soon. Good old Florida. Good old Florida weather. Just pop up out of nowhere. 
I looked on the radar, I didn't, there's nothing on the radar. And then all of a sudden, boom. But first I wanna fish this. See if we get anything out of there. I'm probably gonna get wet. I hope, I hope the thunder don't get me. <laughs> Not big, but that was cool. I didn't even feel him bite. All right, let's get you in here and out of here before this thunder come gets us. Come on, get in here. Whoop. I'll take it for how slow it's been. Little guy, but that's cool. All right, goodbye. All right, I'm gonna try to head back in before this thunder gets me. I really wanna do another cast, just in case. Oh my God, you kidding me? Wow, that was like one hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like a little guy, but that was cool. Come on. Get in here. It ain't too bad. Bigger than the last one. Hook fell right out. Not too bad. Cool. All right, goodbye. I gotta go, but I wanna, I wanna fish this. One more cast. Oh. Oh my God, I nailed it. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. There's more storms popping up. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I really didn't catch a whole lot, just three fish, four fish, but, oh, three, three bass and a mud fish. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I gotta get out here before all these storms come popping in and electrocute me. That's not gonna be fun. So go back in and uh, try to stay dry. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Um, I might be bluegill fishing. I don't know if that's something you would like to see. Leave a comment down below because I'm probably going to stop by Bass Pro on the way home. Buy me a little bluegill rod just just for fun, you know, because bass fishing for me right now is just not, not working out. But <laughs> we'll see what we can do next weekend. And uh, yeah, anyways, if you enjoy, leave a like on the bottom. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.